Hi there, so in this video I'm going to talk about Svelte preprocess, how to set it up so you can use TypeScript and SAS in your project. And you'll just have to play with it. I haven't really used it much. I'm not planning on using it. Uh, so just proceed at your own risk. So first thing you're going to do is npm install minus d Svelte preprocess. So copy and paste that into your terminal in your Svelte app project. So you'll paste that, you'll install it, and then you'll come to rollup.config.js and you'll import auto preprocess from svelte-preprocess. Uh, by the way, all these instructions are on this page, uh, so you can find them, copy and paste them in. Yeah, so you copy and paste there, and then um, down here, preprocess, auto, preprocess. So you can do that. Uh, it lets you do them individually if you want. This is the simplest way to get started. Um, but if you're just using SAS or TypeScript, you might want to just um, follow their rules for just doing one or two. Okay, so after you've done that, you can then in install whatever you want to use. So they have all these options. Uh, coffee scripts, type scripts. Uh, so if you're going to use SAS, you can npm install minus d node SAS. Uh, I'm going to do node SAS because that has more uh, installs on npm. So copy and paste that over here. You'll install that. Uh, and then after that, you don't need to do anything for SAS. And when you're in your Svelte component, you just need to do something like this. So style lang equals scss. This is all I've tried out. Um, you'll have to experiment with other stuff, but this seems to work. And um, so you can do stuff like that, and it will only target this span and not the other spans. Okay, so that's SCSS. That's how you can set it up so it's actually in your Svelte component. Next, we're going to do TypeScript. So for TypeScript, you would have to install just npm install minus d TypeScript like that. And that's all you have to do. And since you've already done the auto preprocess, here, script leg equals TypeScript, and then you can use TypeScript in your Svelte component. So it does not work as you might think. Uh, it's not fully functional. Um, it does not work in your HTML. So for example, is yummy, all of these here, is yummy is expecting a string, and it'll return a boolean. Um, it will check these. It'll throw an error for these because it's in your script tag, but it will not throw an error for these. Uh, because age and eight are numbers, they're not strings. It won't throw an error for these because they're not there. Uh, and your error should look something like this, okay? So it'll just, it won't fail the build, but it'll throw these kind of errors. Um, the other thing is, I don't know how you would do this, but it, I would imagine it be useful to have these interfaces where you can uh, define your props that way. I'm not sure how to share interfaces between components. If you know how to do that, please post in the comment. Or if you have been using this with TypeScript and you have some kind of method that you use with types, um, please post in the comments. Look through the comments, see if anyone posted. Uh, last thing you can do is for TypeScript, maybe you just want to write in TypeScript and you have your editor. Like VS Code can check your TypeScript to make sure all the types match. Um, then you can turn, where is it? You can turn transpiling yeah transpile only to true so that would be in the typescript so uh here in rollup you do something like have an object typescript and then another object what was it uh transpile true yeah so you could send only uh you could set it only to true transpile true and then it won't take as long to uh rebuild so that's one thing i should warn you about this will add this will make it longer to uh run a build or a dev like anytime you make an update it'll take longer to process all of it if you're using these things and if you set um transpile only to true it'll speed it up a bit okay but it won't do any type checking for you then right which is kind of the point but you could do the type checking in your uh vs code or whatever uh the last thing is so here you're also supposed to put a svelte.config.js like this. Um, and apparently that helps the VS code know when to uh, throw errors and like highlight stuff with red, that red squiggly. So you can add that too. It should be in here somewhere. Um, yeah, well, you can look through these. Yeah, here, so TypeScript compilation is slow on medium to large projects. So I would not, so I personally am not gonna be using this. I'm gonna wait till TypeScript comes out in Svelte. Uh, natively and for now I'm just gonna use vanilla JavaScript but feel free to use this play around with it please let me know in the comments what you find out if this works for you uh, or if you've been using it already okay thanks bye